Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss textbook questions present at page 6. First question, the mass per volume of a substance is called density. Density, what is the formula? Density is equal to mass by volume. I think the following in the order of increasing density. Now here certain things matters are given to us. And we have to arrange this in the increasing order of um, density. Air, exhaust from chimneys, honey, water, chalk, cotton and iron. These are the different matter which is given to us. Now on the basis of uh, the density we have to arrange this in the increasing order. So from this one we can say that uh, iron, iron is uh, quite uh, more denser because uh, in compared to other all uh, it have greater density so it have the maximum value then it is chalk so that actually we can able to identify it is quite denser that chalk next is the honey because it quite is denser liquid that is why when we drop it in the water it will not get intermixes very easily because it is of a high density next is the water then cotton then exhaust from the chimneys and the density is lesser in the case of air. So these are the, on the basis of density, we can arrange this. Next question is, uh, tabulate the differences in the characteristics of uh, states of matter. As we have learned three states of matter, that is solid, liquid and gas. Here, we have already discussed a certain characteristic features of these and we can find out that the solid, liquid and gases are different. Now let us list out what are the differences between them in the characteristic features. First of all, shape. When we look at the shape, because the liquids have quite fixed shape, but the sorry solids have fixed shape, liquids and the gases does not have any fixed shape so that we can write in the difference next is a volume what about the volume solids have fixed volume next is the rigidity rigidity we can say that solids are quite rigid that's why they have a definite shape that's why it cannot flow but the liquids can flow and even the gas can flow that means they are not rigid intermolecular forces that is the force between the particle is is less in the liquid than the solid and it is very less in the case of gases what about the intermolecular space when the force of attraction is greater definitely space will be lesser that means it is very less in the case of solid and it is in the case of liquid it is more than the solid and it is maximum in the case of gases what about the compressibility we know that gases can be highly compressed we have performed one activity to find that the gases are more compressible and in the case of solid it is negligible and the liquids are even compressible but lesser in compared to the gases so these are the different characteristic features and we have differentiated solid liquid and gases on the basis of shape volume rigidity intermolecular force intermolecular space and compressibility now the second question have the b part that is comment on the following terms here certain terms are given we have to comment on these first one is rigidity Rigidity is the tendency of a substance to retain or maintain their shape when it is subjected to outside force. So as we have seen in the case of solid, they maintain their shape and even though when it is subjected to outside force, that is called as rigidity. Next is compressibility. Compressibility, the matter has certain intermolecular spaces and if the external force is force applied on the matter can bring these particles closer so as we have seen in the case of activity we have seen that by compressing the gas in the 
syringe by a piston we could able to compress it that means uh, we can bring the particles closer by compressing and the gases can be compressed more easily so the liquids are also compressible but less in compared to gases next is fluidity fluidity is the tendency of a particle to flow that is called fluidity and we know that liquids can flow and even the gases can flow that is called as fluidity but solids cannot flow next filling of a gas container that is gases have um, particles um, which vibrate randomly in all the direction therefore the gas can fill in the container or we can say that uh, is the gases have weak force of attraction between the particles so they expand and it get fill into the container shape as we have discussed that uh, solids have definite shape because uh, they have maximum intermolecular forces therefore the particles will be quite closer that's why they have definite shape but in the case of liquid and gases they take the shape of the container that means they do does not have a definite shape it takes the shape of the container next is the kinetic energy the energy possessed by the particle due to their motion is called as kinetic energy this is what the definition for kinetic energy as uh, the particles are in the motion and they have they possess a certain energy and that is due to their motion is called as kinetic energy the molecules of gases vibrate randomly as they have maximum kinetic energy and we also discussed that uh, when the temperature is higher the kinetic energy increases that means the molecules move faster next is density it is defined as uh, the mass per volume that means how we find out density density can be find out by the formula that is density is equal to mass by volume density formula is mass by volume so from this uh, in compared to certain liquids have quite denser like honey is more denser than the water next uh, question number third give reasons first a part is given a gas fills completely the vessel in which it is kept that is uh, we know that uh, gases can be filled in a vessel that is uh, due to because we have learned that uh, the molecules of gases have high kinetic energy due to which they keep on moving in all the direction hence uh, we can say that uh, it fill the vessel completely in which they kept uh, even we can compress it so that is reason why the gases can be filled in the vessel completely because uh, these particles flows the particles of gases flow because they have high kinetic energy that's why they keep on moving and it get fill into the vessel completely next one is a gas exert pressure on the walls of the container that is one of the property we have learned for the gases that is because uh, the particles of gases are in a motion therefore they exert pressure because they continuously hit the wall and even it uh, hit each other that means that the gases exert pressure on the wall of the container because the molecules of gases are in constant random motion therefore because of the high kinetic energy so when they are in the motion they constantly hit the walls and we can say that by this we are they are exerting by this they were exerting pressure on it so the reason for the exerting pressure is that because the particles of gases are in the motion and they in the motion they hit the wall and thus it exert a pressure next is the c part a wooden table should be called as a solid as we know that the wooden table is a solid why that is because they have a definite shape the molecules of the or we can say the particles of wooden table are tightly packed so there is no intermolecular spaces or we can say very less intermolecular spaces 
it cannot be compressed and it cannot be flow so all these characteristics features are the features of a solid that's why we can say that a wooden table should be a solid next d part we can easily move our hand in air but to do the same through a solid block of wood we need a karate expert that is what we can see that we can easily flap our hand in the air but it is not easy to do with the solid objects that is because we have learned that air in that particles are a weak force of attraction that means the particles in the air has certain spaces that means the force of the intermolecular spaces is greater than that so we can easily move our hand in the air but to do the same through a solid block of wood we need a karate expert this is because the molecules of air have less force of attraction between them that means and they have very small very small external force can separate them and this we can say that the as the particles have weak force and which can be separated that force can that particles can be separated easily by some external force that means can separate them but in the case of solid the force of attraction is a maximum there as the force of attraction is maximum that means the particles are very tightly packed so it is not easy to separate the particles of solid by giving some small external pressure so this is what uh, the reason for this question question number 4 liquids generally have lower density as compared to solids but you must have observed that ice floats on the water that is water is the reason for that that is actually even though ice is a solid but its density is lower than the water that is due to its specific structure of ice when we study the structure of ice it is seen that there is some cage like structure and with a lot of vacant spaces in this so this makes the ice to float on the water so that is actually that is due to the specific structure of ice and which have a cage like structure with a lot of vacant spaces this is the reason which makes the ice to float on water so these are the certain questions which we have discussed so all of you note it down in the notebook so this is all about this video have a nice day